So I understand Jesus as a pre-existent spirit son of God, as one of the sons of God, in fact, the son of God, but certainly one of the sons of God mentioned in Genesis 6, Deuteronomy 32 in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the book of Job. Either way, this idea of sonship, which I believe Jesus builds upon in his response to the Jews in John 10, is something very clearly taught in the Bible. We're not told exactly, you know, how they do that or the mechanics that are involved in the metaphysical to physical transfer, but they do it. It's explicit that they appear as humans, they eat, and then they can dematerialize or however you want to describe it, but they're not born as a human being. In the New Testament, I believe it teaches that Jesus actually existed as a spirit son of God. The sons of God in the Bible, of course, refer to Christians in the New Covenant scriptures, and certainly angels are sons of God, that's quite clear. But son of God as an angel is an impossible category for Jesus. Firstly, because in Hebrews, it's quite clear that God did not speak through the son of God, Jesus, in Old Testament times. So that category is ruled out by the statement in Hebrews that God spoke in different ways in Old Testament times through angels, through prophets and so on, but did not speak, I repeat, did not on any occasion speak through the Son of God, Jesus, in Old Covenant times, in Old Testament times. Only in the New Covenant, of course, that's why Matthew and Luke then give us a great deal of detail about how and why and when the Son of God came into existence. Precisely because of the miracle in Mary, Luke wrote, that's why Jesus is the Son of God. So all human beings originate in the wombs of their mothers. This should be common sense to all of us. That is quite clear. Jesus cannot be an angel because twice in the book of Hebrews, the rhetorical question is asked, to which angel did God ever, ever say at any possible time in the whole of the history of the world, when did God ever say to an angel, you are my begotten son, today I have begotten? The answer is supposed to be self-evident, never, ever, ever. So erase from your minds, if you want to follow the scriptures here, any concept which would be utterly false that Jesus is an angel. And some will say, well, he was an archangel, but not an angel. But that, of course, simply avoids the question because an archangel is a super angel. All archangels are, by definition, angels in the same way that queen bees are still bees. So the angel category for Jesus is eradicated, is completely made impossible by the text in Hebrews. The point is made in the epistles of John that if somebody comes and brings you a Jesus who is not human, who did not come in the flesh, that's Antichrist, an idea to be avoided at all costs. If you haven't got a human Jesus, beware, be careful, because you might have taken in a very pagan and erroneous notion of Jesus, who has to be the Messiah, a human being, has to be a descendant of David, cannot therefore be older than David, that should be perfectly obvious. That's the Jesus who is the Messiah. Luke 2.11 speaks of him as the Messiah Lord Jesus, not the Lord God. Based on Psalm 110.1, the second Lord there, Adoni in the Hebrew, never ever refers to God, but always to a human superior, Adoni, my Lord, should be written with a, a lowercase l there. So none of this is difficult, provided we realize that Jesus was a human being, provided we realize that pre-existence is an incomprehensible idea that you cannot be older than yourself. So let's stop thinking in so-called almost transgender terms. Let's free ourselves from this very pagan idea 